Hey guys, Jay Carls here. This uh, is a very late review of some of the units we got for the boss strike, but my problem was is my computer's been messed up, so only videos that I could make were very lagging videos, which sucked a lot. So uh, anyway, I wanted to do a review of this unit. Um, a lot of people said this unit kind of uh, sucked, um, and as far as a as far as uh, its attacks, it's not super impressive, but uh, you know, uh, if you're comparing this to a mega tank uh, or super tank or something, you're kind of you're um, you're getting a stronger defensive unit, and a lot of these units are just designed to be good meat shields, good strong upfront units. Um, now, legendary sandworms by far the best meat shield and attacker there is, so you don't necessarily need any of these guys. But if you do, um, if you do need a few meat shields, these weren't some weren't too bad to get, and that's because they had some decent uh, damage resistance. Uh, we'll look at those here. Uh, it's base health. It only takes 50% crushing, 70% uh, fire, 70% explosive, 25% cold, and 40% piercing. Uh, with its armor, uh, it's 30% piercing, 25 cold, uh, 55 explosive. 40 fire and 40 crushing. So pretty nice uh, damage resistance that this unit has. Uh, as far as this attacks, three attacks, these two are kind of tied together with the same ammo, uh, just giving you two different options uh, with the same type of attack. And this shoveler attack is kind of an interesting attack where it does a lot of damage to the units here and then fans out with fewer damage. Uh, but still, uh, if you have a couple of units on the board that are uh, have low health, that's a nice attack to uh, kind of close things out. So if we're just comparing here, uh, you got this uh, the tank shell from uh, the mega tank at rank six. We're gonna attack this guy. It does 188 uh, damage. Uh, this attack, which does two spaces, which will do all three attacks on any of these not in particular order or you can pick this attach that will balance out the attack on each of those so that did 262 because it got a crit and it has a small percent chance of freezing I think it's like 20 percent so uh, it actually froze uh, that unit there and uh, the mega tank has this which can hit a uh, you know a decent part of the board putting lots of damage on that those two outer places whereas this attack here does more da a lot of damage to this uh, first position, say 140 to 200 damage here, and then the percentage goes down of the attack there, which pretty nice attack. Uh, it gets lots of crits. So it's not like a board, uh, like it's going to just clean out the board, but if you have a couple of these guys on the front row, then yeah, you can clean out the board a whole lot faster than you could uh, with a mega tank. Now, I'm not saying that makes this unit super amazing, but as far as uh, damage resistance, it's very nice here. Okay, this is the attack that if it lands on this unit, it'll do very well. See, you got two of the attacks. The third one went here. But you're not guaranteed with this shot that it's even going to hit see all three hit that space but nothing hit that one so you're not necessarily guaranteed you're going to get uh, the attack that you want to but overall not a bad unit considering it's a, a meat shield a pretty decent amount of nanopods I think it was 70 nanopods uh, something like that which isn't too terribly bad but also it's easy to rank up and it can rank up uh, one more time um, it can rank up one more time with this. Uh... Now, it is susceptible to freeze and to stun. It's not susceptible to the cold damage, the cold DOT damage. It did not take that, but it did take the freeze damage. Uh, so, And it can be stunned by these guys as well. Uh, just really quick, if you're ranking units up, like say you're ranking your wimps up or something, this is what you need to do. You need to just have two units. If your wimps went in rank six, you might want to put one on the back and then one, uh, one say on the second row, something like this, uh, away from the attacks where you know they're not going to get hit. Um, they'll be safe over there. 
uh, because these guys aren't going to attack. But you'd put those over there, and then you'd only use another unit that you want to rank up that way because when it when it balances out the SP, uh, it divides it in half. If you have three units, it divides it by three. If four units, it divides it by four. So your the amount of units uh, uh, SP is going to be less. So since I have several of these units, I don't need to rank up my wimps. I just want to use these so I can get the most SP out of uh, the attack. And I'll show you this attack right here again. So say I have two units I want to hit. I may hit both. I may only hit one of these units. And I did hit both, killing that one and just damaging that one. See, that one got stunned for two rounds. And this attack hits the uh, plus pattern. Uh, so I can choose to hit those or this one. Let's, let's attack that way. I'm doing 150. And then this guy here. You also want to be careful uh, with that attack because if you're ranking up other units, you might bring the wimps down on you and you might not want that to happen yet. So, um, I'll take those out. And let's do this crushing over here, just to show you. Overall, does better on um, soldiers, but it does have a higher crit chance uh, against tanks and stuff. So, you, know, you can't use this. Uh, from here, it's going to be far far weaker even though it cleared the two wimps out back there because of the crit chance so here it'd be smarter to go ahead and use this attack than it would to be used this attack because like I said this you may not even you may not hit the unit where this you know you're guaranteed to, you're guaranteed to hit hit the uh, the unit so anyway there is just kind of a, a little quick review of the snow crusher uh, like I like the unit as a meat shield it's pretty nice I'll probably get it max ranked up uh, in no time, especially taking advantage of this 3 SP weekend. Um, it's not a unit that really helps out against the bosses, even though you could use it if you needed a meat shield against uh, some of the bosses. But it's not its not going to do a lot of damage uh, to the Ancient Sentinel, so um, uh, it, you might have something better to bring in there. But if you don't, uh, and you use Mega Tanks anyway, well then it probably it will do comparable to a Mega Tank attack. Uh, against uh, the ancient sentinel so all right uh, that's a little review there and uh, I'll bring a next review on some of these other units very soon guys thanks